Cicernosaurus. Design The last dinosaur and the last segment of deserts is the Cicernosaurus migration. Cicernosaurus is a late Cretaceous Patagonian hadrosaur that was originally found in 1923 but was not described or named until 1979. It has had an unusual history regarding what it is related to and who is related to it. It was the first hadrosaur from South America to get a scientific designation, but it was not the first to be found and plenty more were found in the time between when it was found and when it was named. In 2010, some researchers hypothesized that another South American hadrosaur, Critosaurus australis, was actually the same animal as Cicernosaurus. Five years after that, some more researchers argued that they should remain separate organisms. Then, in 2022, when Prehistoric Planet had already been made and was airing, another study came out that analyzed the Critosaurus australis specimens in detail and were able to find enough evidence that not only are Cicernosaurus and Critosaurus australis two distinct species, but that Critosaurus australis was its own genus as well. So, they renamed it Hualasaurus australis. Now, according to post by Dr. Nash, the critter in the show should really be Hoalosaurus, which means that they had been using Hoalosaurus in the show before it had been renamed and was considered just another specimen of Cicernosaurus. That being said, both are from Cretaceous rocks in Patagonia, different regions of Patagonia but still the same overall part of the South American continent. Both are closely related and both may have looked rather similar. So calling Hawalasaurus Cicernosaurus here isn't like the worst scientifically accurate sin you could have made, nor could they have possibly known what research was being done on them behind the scenes. The Cicernosaurus show some really cool differences in age, with the juveniles having the usual shorter faces and bigger eyes, but also a neat reddish top and cream bottom with some subtle striping. The adults have less subtle striping and some splotches of an almost iridescent green and blue on the face, with the red replaced with dark stripes over a light background color. I love any close-up we get of these models because you can pick out each individual scale, showing the level of detail put into this. Behavior In the Cicernosaurus segment of the Deserts episode, the animals are shown using the stars to find their way out of the desert and to the coast to get some moisture. This is based on its prevalence in living animals that make huge treks. Hadrosaur ear anatomy, based on the many skulls across the hadrosaur family that have been CT scanned, reveals a huge sensitivity to low frequency sounds, perhaps even infrasound. This seems to be relatively common among the big dinosaurs, so they may have communicated with one another through these types of sounds. For more interesting stories about nature, the history of life, or what goes bump in the night, subscribe, like this video, drop a comment in the comment section below, and hit the bell icon to stay in the know with everything Edge. Thanks for watching.